Hi everyone, hope you are doing well today. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm excited to walk everybody through our plan for passing the NCLEX the first time. Uh, my name is Morgan Duke and I am the Product Education Manager here at Picmonic. Uh, I've had the great fortune of working in medical education for the past few years and in working for other test prep companies, I can attest to the fact that Picmonic is absolutely the most effective and most affordable resource that's currently in the market. So today we're going to cover a few things. Number one, we're going to talk about passing the NCLEX in one try. I also want to cover the Picmonic learning system, make sure everybody is on the same page with who we are, what we do, and how the learning system works. And then I also want to take some time to answer some of your questions, really, so that everybody walks out of here with a solid understanding of how the plan works, how Picmonic works, and how we're going to help you to pass the NCLEX the first time. So we've developed this free study plan, you know, again, to, to help you pass the first time, but we've also found that you can use this plan to help yourself tackle some of those exit exams like the ATI, the HESI, the Kaplan exams. Um, and we've even had students use the study plan to prepare for an upcoming uh, quiz or test there in school. So let's say you've got an OB exam coming up or, or really any other subject that you need to prepare for, you certainly can use this plan to, in preparation for that. So one of the beautiful things about our, uh, our plan excuse me, is the fact that it's customizable. We understand that life gets in the way. So if you miss a day, it's okay. Don't sweat it. Don't stress about it. Um, we have developed this plan so that you can stack days on top of each other if you need to. So again, if you miss a day, no problem. You can stack days on top of each other. Um, and here in just a few minutes, I'm going to give everybody information on how you'll go and download uh, the study plan that's going to help you get prepared. It's going to help you master all the content that you have to for NCLEX and how to answer these tough NCLEX style questions. So in following this plan, not only are you going to be prepared for the NCLEX exam, you're going to walk in confident because you will have mastered 480 Picmonics. We're going to give you access to 30 customized playlists that have actually been created by our nursing scholars uh, to help you really cover the most high yield, need to know information for the exam. And we're also going to give you some hacks, uh, some, some tips and some tricks for conquering the NCLEX exam. So our, our plan is really broken down into seven categories. Um, each category is broken down into a day. And then each day is broken down even further into one to three hourly blocks of study time. So here are the seven categories that we actually cover at Picmonic, uh, med surge, fundamentals, OB, etc. So all the subjects that you cover there in nursing school, we cover at Picmonic. So rest assured uh, that we've got you absolutely covered for the material. So in developing this plan, we really realized that there were three steps to absolutely crushing this exam. And the first one is getting prepared. And to do that, really assess yourself. Find your strengths, find your weaknesses. You know, knowing your weaknesses ahead of time is a great way to start on the path to really being effective and efficient in your preparation. So next is, ma is mastering the content. You know, when you're able to learn more information faster and you're able to improve your recall, you're going to test better and you're going to know more information. You're going to be very, very confident in what you've covered. Picmonic is going to help you to master the content faster and have a quicker recall. And then next is mastering the questions. You know, you're going to be able to use our tips, our tricks, and the different hacks that we've created to help you learn, you know, how to answer some of these tough questions on the NCLEX exam. And then we recommend using a question bank to do two things. Really, number one, it really can help you define where your weaknesses might be. And then two, you can start to practice these tough questions using our tips, using some of our tricks to figure out how to dissect these questions. Now, we recommend doing a minimum of 1,500 question bank questions before your exam. Uh, and there are a lot of great resources out there. Feel free to do your homework uh, on your own to figure out what question bank is best for you. Uh, but I'll tell you, Picmonic doesn't offer the questions. We do not have a question bank, uh, and we are not a question bank. So with that said, let's talk about getting prepared. You know, in order to tackle the NCLEX exam, you've got to understand how it works. You know, how many questions might you get? Uh, when is the exam going to end? Or, or what types of questions might you see? So let's say one of your goals is to pass with 75 questions. Well, to do that, you're going to have to answer some pretty difficult, some pretty complex questions. And these questions are going to be the dreaded select all that apply questions. You know, they're tough. Uh, and they really 
they really require you to answer three, four, or maybe even five pieces of information, and you've got to get all those pieces correct to get the entire question right. And the good news is that Picmonic is absolutely fantastic for that. We are great at helping you to remember all those different nitty-gritty details. So next is setting a goal. So pick a test date and stick to it. You know, I will tell you that students who procrastinate after graduation or will pick a test date and then continue to push it back, whether it's nerves or stress or, you know, not being prepared, whatever the case might be. You know, I'll tell you that students that do that tend to not do as well on the NCLEX exam. So please pick a day, stick to it, and then use that information to figure out how much time you actually have to prepare for the NCLEX exam. So next is knowing your strengths and weaknesses. You know, the best way to figure out uh, where you're strong and where you're weak is those exit exams that most of you are going to have in school. So, you know, whether you do ATI or HESI or Kaplan, use that exam, use the information at your fingertips to figure out where you're strong and where you're weak. Now, if you go attend a school that does not offer exit exams, no big deal. Just think back to your, your, your entire nursing school career. What did your grades look like? Where did you really have to cram? Or what have you forgotten? You know, what exams did not go well? Really use this information and empower yourself to know where you're strong, where you're weak, and then rely on Picmonic to help you shore up those weaknesses, turning them into strengths. And then next is allocating time. So this is really a no-brainer, uh, and I, I get that, but this is your time. This is the time that you are going to set aside to really prepare for the NCLEX and to do it right so that you can absolutely pass it on the first time. You know, we talked earlier about the the plan being customizable. Well, you know, we've created study sessions in this plan that are anywhere from 30 minutes to just over three hours. So use that information and know that if you're a rock star when it comes to OB, that's fantastic. Use less time on that particular subject matter and use that time saved in an area that you might be weak so that you can quickly and easily turn that into a strength. So second in our, our three-step plan is mastering the content. So you are absolutely going to master the content when you use Picmonic. And for those of you that might be familiar, unfamiliar excuse me, with who Picmonic is or what we do, we're an audiovisual mnemonic learning system. And we are actually research proven to help you master more information faster and improve your recall. So in an IRB approved research study, we had participants that saw up to a 331% increase in the long-term retention of information. To compound upon that, they also saw a 50% improvement in their exam performance. So we take the most commonly used books, the most popular textbooks that you use there in nursing school, you know, like Lewis's ninth edition or Perry's fifth edition of child nursing care, and we transform those flat, unengaging textbook pages and again, we transform them in unforgettable images with an audio track so that you can make a learning not only more effective, but more fun. So for example, here is our hypoglycemia assessment, Picmonic, and you can see that we took all the facts straight out of a textbook page and put them right here into this image. All the attributes that you need to know are right here. So here you see hypo is hippo. Glycemia, glue bottle, tremors, a tremor, lethargic, a leather jacket. You know, instead of reading pages for hours and hours trying to memorize all this information, highlighting endlessly, you know, and really struggling, you can watch a Picmonic that is proven to help you master this content. And then after you master this content, we're going to help you to master these questions. And that's our third step in passing the first time. You know, here is five tips or five tricks to help you master these NCLEX style questions. And our plan is going to give you detailed instructions on how to answer the questions, how to find keywords within the questions, rule out any incorrect answers, critically think through some of these tough questions, specifically those select all that apply questions, and really we're going to help you figure out the importance of practicing these NCLEX style questions. You know, we talked about the question banks, uh, and those are a great way for you to practice some of the tips and tricks that we're going to give you so that you can master these questions and absolutely nail them when it's NCLEX day. Uh, so, all right, so here is a checklist or a page right out of uh, our study plan. And here you see a checklist that lists some of the playlists and some of the picmonics for fundamentals. Now keep in mind that this is just a snippet of our comprehensive checklist. Um, now we have included this checklist with the idea that you're going to be able to keep track of where you are. You're going to need, you're going to know exactly what you need to study. 
So to do that, you're gonna go here to playlist and you can see right here that this playlist is actually a clickable link. It's gonna take you directly to the Picmonic Learning System and the playlist is already created there for you. Uh, and after you view and you master the Picmonic, you're gonna check this box right here. Again, this is a good way for you to keep track of where you've been and what you have mastered. And I'll tell you, if you see a Picmonic or you see this logo, uh, excuse me, here in the checklist with an HY logo, this means high yield. These are absolutely have to know Picmonics, so please, please make sure you view them. Uh, these are the most high yield subject pieces uh, that you have to master for the exam. All right, now here is a, a study grid right out of our plan as well. And this is a sample out of the four-week plan. Uh, and here, again, we've got fundamentals. Uh, this is really just showing you two weeks' worth of the plan. And you're going to notice that there is each day broken down. Here's the playlist that you need to view. Here are the amount of picmonics that you're going to view. And then this is the time that it's going to take you to get through those picmonics. So, again... This is a great, great resource for you to keep in mind where you've been, where you need to go, and a good, concise plan of getting you through all this massive amount of information. And we talked earlier about putting days on top of each other. So, you know, day one, again, was only 42 minutes. So, you know, let's say you missed day one. Well, day five is a little bit shorter than two through four. So you can absolutely put day one on top of day five, making up for that lost time. So again, don't sweat if you miss a day. All right, so real quickly, for those of you that are new to Picmonic or have not been in the learning system in quite some time, I really just want to take a few minutes to walk you through uh, our Picmonic learning system. So here we see our hypoglycemia assessment Picmonic, and we all know that hypoglycemia can occur by states uh, causing decreased glucose or the down arrow glue bottle, and you see the glue bottle right here on the hippo with the down arrow, and we know that when assessing a patient, uh, your patient may display a change in their level of consciousness, which is represented by the delta halo. And one of those levels of consciousness is lethargy, or lethar being lethargic, as you see here, the leather jacket. So again, we take all those facts and we have them represented as a character so that you do not forget this information. And each picmonic actually has three learning modes that you see right here. So learn, review, and quiz. And you will absolutely have the best results when watching a Picmonic in that order. Learn, review, and then quiz. So learn is a great mode because it's got an audio track that's going to give you an, an overview of the Picmonic. It's going to introduce you to all the different characters, pointing out the key attributes for the subject matter. And as you can see here on the left-hand side, you have the ability to expand more robust definitions. So you really can dive in and start to remember and learn this information as it pertains to each one of the attributes. Now we'll move into review, and you'll notice that we've actually hidden the facts or the definitions because we want you to just see the image and then be able to recall the text that accompanies that attribute. This is a great, great segue before you move into quiz. So here we have blurred out all the attribute imagery, and during quiz mode, really you're supposed to test your recall of the entire image. Rebuild the image in your mind and see how much of the information related to each one of the attributes is actually remembered. And then at the end of each quiz, uh, you're gonna be able to uh, answer whether you got the answer correct or you did not. So here you can see if it's green, it's correct. If it's red, it's incorrect. Um, this is a, another good way for you just to get a quick snapshot into where you might be strong, where you might be weak. You know, if you're answering a lot of these quiz questions incorrectly or you're not getting all of the attributes correct, I'd venture to say that your weak, or this might be a weakness or your confidence might be low. And you can use the Rate My Confidence feature to really hone in on some of those weaknesses. Uh, you can actually filter your Picmonic library by the Picmonics in which you have a low confidence. So you really, really can focus and, and hone in on those, again, turning those weaknesses into strengths. All right, so we covered a lot of information, and I feel like we just did it very quickly. So let, let's reclap. Uh, number one, we've talked about how to prepare for the NCLEX. We've talked about mastering the content with Picmonic. We've talked about our plan on helping you to master these questions using our tips and tricks. Plus, we just quickly walked through a research-proven learning system that's not only going to help you to learn more information faster, it's going to help you to improve your recall. So if you're not already a Picmonic user or you're not already convinced that Picmonic is going to be a great resource for you, here's some testimonials from some of your peers that have recently used Picmonic. 
So Megan tells us that not only did Picmonica make it easy to remember all the small details, it made them practically impossible to forget. Uh, it almost felt like she wasn't studying. And then this is probably one of my favorite testimonials. You know, Kristen says, Picmonica was amazing. She had never experienced anything like it. It enabled her to study the way that she learns best. And she kept getting so excited during the NCLEX because she kept getting all the answers correct and the exam shut off at the 75th question. So these two testimonials right here beautifully illustrate exactly what Picmonic can do for you. You know, the hardest part of preparing for the NCLEX is developing a plan and, and really knowing how to master the content, how to answer those tough questions. And today we've given you that plan. It's proven to work, and it's going to allow you to effectively prepare, effectively master the content, and then master those tough questions. Using Picmonic, using our plan, each one of you will absolutely learn more of this massive amount of information faster, and you're going to be able to recall that information faster right when it counts on exam day. All right, so... I don't know if everybody knows this, but we've actually dropped our pricing recently to help everybody out. Um, we dropped our monthly subscription price and our 12-month pricing. So we went from $14.99 to $9.99 and $120.99 to $99.99. So again, a pretty big pricing reduction. So really, that is most of what we're going to cover today. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please reach out to me. Reach out to the Picmonic team. Uh, the best way to do that is feedback at Picmonic.com. We wish you the best of luck in your NCLEX preparation and your NCLEX exam. Let us know how you did. Everyone have a fantastic day.